The purpose of this video is to show the process of collecting blood culture specimens and inoculating blood culture bottles using a central line method. This method is used when patients have central lines and it's difficult to use other techniques. This is not a preferred method since the chances of contamination are increased significantly. A properly collected blood culture sample free of contaminants can help to ensure accurate results that can improve patient outcomes. Gather all necessary materials. Bottle lot number, expiration date, fill to mark, barcode, black box, window for checking the level of blood, area to add patient information and test label. Check that the culture bottles are within the expiration date. Do not use a bottle containing media displaying turbidity, a yellow sensor, or any other visible defects. Do not use bottles that show signs of damage, deterioration, or leakage. Wash your hands with soap and water and then dry them or apply an alcohol hand rub. Then apply well-fitting, non-sterile examination gloves. Before starting the collection procedure, confirm the patient's identity. Check that the requested laboratory test and patient information matches the patient's identity. This could be either using a printed label, form, or mobile device. Prepare the collection materials in a clean, protected area to help minimize contamination. Remove the flip caps from the blood culture bottles. Disinfect using an approved disinfectant. Use a fresh swab or applicator for each bottle. Remove the swab or applicator and allow bottle tops to dry completely. Disinfect the central line port as recommended by your facility's approved procedure. Using a syringe, aspirate the appropriate amount of blood adhering to your facility's guidelines on limitations of the amount that can be collected from a central line. 20 milliliters per adult set, 10 milliliters per bottle is recommended. If other blood tests are required, additional blood may be needed. Attach a safety transfer device to the syringe. Inoculate the anaerobic bottles first to avoid adding air that may be in the syringe that will alter the atmosphere of the anaerobic bottle. Use the fill to mark to accurately gauge the sample volume, 10 milliliters per adult bottle. For pediatric patients, you may choose to use a unique pediatric aerobic bottle. Once the anaerobic bottle has been inoculated, Lift the syringe and transfer device off the anaerobic bottle and repeat the procedure for the aerobic bottle. Use the fill to mark to accurately gauge the sample volume, 10 milliliters per adult bottle. If other blood tests are required, always inoculate the blood culture bottles first. Discard the syringe and adapter into a sharps container and dispose of other materials. Mix blood culture bottles and tubes, invert three to five times. To properly label the bottle, use the dedicated area on the bottle. If using a test label, place the barcode label vertically so the orientation is the same as the bottle barcode. Do not cover any of the bottle barcodes or the fill to mark or window to check the blood level. Add any additional information if required, such as date, time, and collected by. Ensure that any additional labels do not cover the bottle barcode. Place bottles and blood collection tubes in a biohazardous plastic bag. If available, place the label or request form in the outer compartment of the bag. Transfer the inoculated culture bottles promptly to the testing laboratory. Three important points to remember regarding blood culture collection. First, proper disinfection is crucial to the ensuring of a contamination-free culture. Second, sufficient blood volume will help ensure optimal organism detection. And third, transfer the inoculated bottles promptly to the laboratory.